Bahamian Americans are Americans of Bahamian ancestry. There are an estimated 56,498 people of Bahamian ancestry living in the USA as of 2015. Bahamian immigration Bahamians began visiting the Florida Keys in the 18th century to salvage wrecked ships, fish, catch turtles and log tropical hardwood trees. A Bahamian settlement in the Keys was reported in 1790, but the presence of Bahamians in the Keys was temporary. Early in the 19th century some 30 to 40 Bahamian ships were working in the Keys every year. After 1825, Bahamian wreckers began moving to Key West in large numbers. Today, the largest Bahamian American populations are in Atlanta, Oklahoma City, Miami, and New York. Bahamians built and still reside in the oldest inhabited neighborhoods in Miami, like Coconut Grove and Lemon City. Bahamians represented one third of the vote to incorporate the area into the new city, Miami. Bahamians were among the first Caribbeans to arrive to the mainland U.S. in the late 19th century. Many went to Florida to work in agriculture or to Key West to labor in fishing, sponging, and turtling. Two main factors that contributed to increased Bahamian migration were the poor economic climate and opportunities, as well as the short distance from the Bahamas to Miami. Southern Florida developed Bahamian enclaves in certain cities including Lemon City, Coconut Grove, and Cutler. In 1896, foreign-born blacks compromised 40% of the black population, making Miami the largest foreign-born black city in the U.S. aside from New York. Reimers claims that the restrictive immigration policy of the 1920s did not greatly affect the Bahamian émigrés, they continued to migrate in vast number to the U.S., however many also participated in return migration back to the Bahamas during this time period. Those who chose to remain created institutions in the U.S. during this time in Florida. Black Bahamians too faced state enforced racism. Blacks could not vote, were persecuted by epithets in Miami press, and were not allowed to stay in the hotels that employed them. And in 1921, the Ku Klux Klan staged a large rally attacking these black immigrants in Miami. Topic: <laughs> Communities. The majority of Bahamian Americans, about 21,000 in total, live in and around Miami, Florida, with the Bahamian community centered in Coconut Grove. There is also a growing Bahamian American population in the Atlanta and Oklahoma City areas. Although the majority of Bahamian Americans live in the southern United States, a large population can be found in the New York City area, with the population particularly centered in Harlem. Bahamian Americans in the New York City area regularly provide cultural education and entertainment, particularly due to the Office of the Bahamas Consulate General in New York being located in the city. White Bahamian Americans in Florida were often referred to as conks, and their communities in Key West and Riviera Beach sometimes referred to as conk towns. In 1939, the Works Progress Administration WPA conducted a study of white Bahamian Americans in Riviera Beach, eventually published as Conchtown, USA. U.S. <laughs> <laughs> communities with high percentages of people of Bahamian ancestry The top U.S. communities with the highest percentage of people claiming Bahamian ancestry are Roosevelt Gardens, Florida 9.3% Canal Point, Florida 5.1% Seminole Manor, Florida 3.6% Brownsville, Florida 3.3% Gladeview, Florida 3% Archer, Florida 2.5% West Park, Florida 2.1% Ives Estates, Florida 2% Westview, Florida 1.5% Miami Gardens 1.4% West Little River, Florida 1.4% Culture Bahamian Americans have retained much of their cultural heritage. Bahamian Americans listen to and perform junkanoo and rake and scrape music, engage in the classic art of West Indian storytelling about characters like Anansi, and create Bahamian-style art, especially straw weaving and canvas art. 
Bahamian food staples such as conch, peas and rice, johnny cake, and desserts including duff food s especially guava continue to be made by Bahamian Americans. Bahamian dialect is also spoken by many Bahamian Americans, especially in Florida. Education <inaudible> 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 As of 2010, Bahamian Americans were the most educated West Indian Americans in the USA 39.1% of the Bahamian American population of 25 years and over held college degrees. There were 22,763 Bahamian Americans 25 years and older in the country according to the 2010 census. 9.9% .9 held associate degrees, 17.5% held bachelor's degrees, and 11.7% held graduate or professional degrees, 29.2% held bachelor's degrees or higher. In New York State, 46.7% of Bahamian Americans 25 years and older held degrees, 18.5% held graduate or professional degrees, 20.6% held bachelor's degrees, with 7.6% holding associate degrees. In Georgia 51.1% of Bahamian Americans 25 years and older held college degrees, 18.6% held graduate or professional degrees, 25.1% held bachelor's degrees, with 7.4% holding associate degrees. In Florida 32% of Bahamian Americans 25 years and older held college degrees. 7.8% held graduate or professional degrees, 12.6% held bachelor's degrees, with 11.6% holding associate degrees. Economy <inaudible> 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 In 2010 census the average Bahamian American family household earned $61,070 annually, with the average household earning about $57,000. The median income for family household was $46,196 and the median for household was $42,000. 35% of working Bahamian Americans had occupations in business, science, and arts. 27% had positions in sales and office occupations, 24% had occupation in service-related jobs, 6% held jobs in natural resources, construction and maintenance, and 8% in production, transportation, and material moving. About 20% of the Bahamian American population were living in poverty in 2010. Topic organizations Both the Bahamian American Cultural Society and the Bahamian American Association Inc., the largest Bahamian American organizations in the United States, are located in Manhattan. These organizations provide cultural education services, social opportunities, and genealogical records to Bahamian Americans and those interested in Bahamian and Bahamian American culture. The National Association of the Bahamas, located in Miami, offers primarily social opportunities for the local Bahamian American community. The Council for Concerned Bahamians Abroad is a foundation which represents the interests and concerns of Bahamians, and Friends of the Bahamas domiciled outside the Bahamas. Its primary role is to serve as a voice for the economic and family interests of its constituents, and to monitor, analyze, and report on issues and policies that affect these interests. It also operates Bring It Home Initiatives projects designed to assist in the development of the Bahamas in seven areas, education, business and industry, investments and financial services, health and social development, community development and sports, arts and entertainment, and tourism. Notable people Wendy Coakley Thompson, writer T. Corinne, artist and gay rights activist Denzel Curry, rapper Lil Duval, comedian Kevin Kimbo Slice Ferguson, mixed martial artist Donald R. Hopkins, public health physician, MacArthur Fellow J. Rosamond Johnson, musician, composer and performer James Weldon Johnson, author, composer and educator Lenny Kravitz, musician Shakara Leonard, model. Alano Miller, actor. Taj Mowry, actor. Tamara Mowry, actress, television host, model, author, businesswoman, singer. Tia Mowry, actress, model, author, businesswoman, vocalist. 
Sidney Poitier, actor Al Roker, meteorologist and television personality Roxy Roker, actress Esther Roll, actress Ryan Sweeting, American professional tennis player Clay Thompson, NBA basketball player Michael Thompson, retired NBA basketball player Persia White, actress and singer Frederica Wilson, U.S. House of Representatives from Florida's 24th District Burt Williams, Bahamian-born American entertainer Al Horford, NBA player with from Dominican Republic with Bahamian roots Stepan Fetchett, first black person to become a millionaire from acting Eric Gordon, NBA player M. Athley Range, first black American to be elected to the Miami City Commission and the first woman to head a Florida state agency. W. E. B. Du Bois, grandfather was born in the Bahamas. Estelle Evans, Bahamian-born American actress. Rosanna Carter, Bahamian-born American actress. Walter T. Mosley, legislator from the New York Assembly. J. Gary Pretlow, legislator from the New York Assembly. John Culmer, civil rights activist. Topic. See also. List of residents of the Bahamas.